Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrof. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Overwatch 2 rendering device lost and graphic error where you get a message your rendering device has been lost application closing. Now there are tons of reasons behind this problem so I'm sharing the list of solutions with you guys. So make sure that you hold patience, apply the solution one by one, do not skip any part and if this works for you please consider subscribing to the channel only 1.8% people are subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate your help. And if you still have the problem, still have the question, then let me know in the comment section. So the first thing that you have to do on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on the search box, type CMD, then choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be coming up. Here you have to type a command that is SFC space forward slash scan now now all the command all kind of code you will be getting in the description so you don't have to worry about it you just need to copy and paste once done hit on enter this will be scanning all the system file for any kind of infection and integrity violation so it will take some time so we can minimize it and proceed with the next solution now in the next step if you are using any kind of gpu or cpu overclocking manually or through the software then you have to delete it you have to uninstall it many problems occur just because of using overclocking however there are many benefits of using it but still for such kind of problem i would recommend that if you're using any software or for overclocking or manual then you have to revert the changes then you have to scan and repair the overwatch so open your battle.net from the top end game menu, click on Overwatch. At the bottom, you will find this blue button of play. Click on the setting gear icon and choose scan and repair. Then click on begin scan. Now this will be scanning for any kind of infection, any problem and it will automatically repair it. So till the time it's running, again click on the setting gear icon, choose game settings. Here click additional command line argument, check the box. And paste the code that you will be getting in the description. Paste here. And then click on done. So meanwhile, it is scanning. What we can do, we can just minimize it. Now look for Overwatch icon on your desktop. Right click on it. And choose properties. Now here from the top end menu option, click on the compatibility tab. And then you have to check these two boxes here that says disable full screen optimization and run this program as administrator. Check both these boxes, then click on apply and then click on OK. Once done, again, come back to battle.net and still it is scanning, so we will wait. And once done, you have to launch your Overwatch game. So click on play. So once the Overwatch dashboard comes up from the right hand uh, section, click on menu, then click on options. Now here at the top you will find display mode so by default it should be set to full screen what you can do you can try using in borderless windowed okay in future if you find that it doesn't work then you can revert to full screen once you are done below you will find the option of vsync so you have to enable this option so click on this arrow icon to enable it once you are done on the left hand menu option only click on graphic quality now because of the high or ultra quality also you may have such kind of problem so what you can do look over the feature here quality here and whichever has been set to high you can click on the drop down and choose it to medium and whichever has been set to ultra you can set it to high once done click on the apply button or press the y button to save the changes and now you also need to refresh restart your graphic driver so you can use the shortcut key that is windows shift control and b you have to press all these four key all together once you press your screen will just go black for a while which means that your graphic card has been restarted and after that in the next solution we have to make some changes from the registry so click on your search box type reg edit and from the suggestion choose registry editor then click on yes 
Now you will be getting this path here. You don't have to manually enter. You have to copy this path from the description and paste here in the top box. Once you paste, you will come here to the graphic drivers. And then on the right hand side, you have to make a right click, hold up to new and choose door 32 bit value. And then you have to name this as TDR delay. So you have to type as it is I'm typing over here. Once done, double click on it. Choose the base from hexadecimal to decimal and value data to 60. Then click on OK. Again, right click on the blank space over up to new and choose door 32 bit value. And this one you have to name as TDR D D I delay. Then click OK. Now double click on it. Change the value to decimal and value data to 60. Then click on OK. Now you can close it. Now right click on your Windows icon and choose settings. Now in the search box type Xbox. And where it says enable Xbox game bar click on it. And make sure that your Xbox game bar has been disabled. So you have to try disabling it. Okay. Once disabled from the left hand menu option only click on game mode. And then you have to make sure that game mode has been enabled. Once done close it. Now open your file explorer. Then click on this PC from the left hand side. Then double click on local disk C. Then on windows. Then look for system 32. Double click on it. Now in the search box you have to type R Z C H R O M A S D K 64 dot D L L. Hit enter. And this will try to find a file. On my end it's not showing but you will see a file by this name. So what you have to do you just need to make a right click on it and delete it. Okay. Now in case if you do not find it then you can skip this part. And now you can close it. Alright, so in the next step, we have to update graphic driver, right click on the windows icon, choose device manager. Now in the device manager, look for display adapters, double click on it. You will see your display adapter. If you're using AMD, it will show AMD or Nvidia. Right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. So if it, there are update available, it will automatically update it. But if not, then it says the best driver for your device are already installed. So in this case, what you have to do, you just need to close it. Again, right click on the graphic driver and choose uninstall device. Click uninstall again. And then you have to restart your PC. You have restarted. Then you need to open your browser. Go to Google and search for like if you're using AMD, then type AMD driver download. And choose the first website. Now here you will see anti auto detect and install for Windows 10 and 11. So if you're not sure that which kind of driver or adapter you're using, so you can simply go with auto detect. It will auto detect and download the driver for you. Once downloaded, you have to follow the steps and install on your computer. And now if you're using Nvidia, you have to do the same. Go to Google type Nvidia driver download. Then go to the first website of NVIDIA. Now here you have to type your product type, product series, whichever you are using. Just go with those options and download the driver and install it. After installing, restart the PC and check that if the problem has been fixed. And in case still if you have the problem, then what else you can do? Just launch your Overwatch game. So once the game has been launched, you have to open your task manager. Right click on your windows icon and choose task manager. Now here in the processes, you have to look for the application that you are not currently using while playing game. Now keep in mind that when you, you are playing any game, all these background app, they run in the background, they occupy your bandwidth, they occupy the resources from the CPU and the RAM. And because of that overloaded usage, you may have such kind of trouble. So always when playing any kind of game avoid using other kind of application like Google Chrome or like other application so it's better to close them 
okay so just close all the game and once done from the top in menu click on details and here look for overwatch right click on it or have to set priority and choose it to high once done again relaunch your overwatch 2 and see that if the problem has been fixed and still if you have the issues then what else you have to do the only solution is like you have to reinstall your battle.net and overwatch okay uninstall the game uninstall battle.net reinstall it again and see if the problem has been fixed and still if you have the issues then the only solution is to reset your windows 10 or windows 11 so if you need help resetting your pc then i will be sharing a link in the description you can watch that video that will help you to quickly reset your windows 10 or windows 11 so that's all guys for today 